Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be talking about the recovery of ozone layer. We'll be discussing about the ozone layer, the reasons for its depletion and recovery, and also the Kigali Amendment to Montreal Protocol. Let us see why it is in news. A new assessment report by a UN-backed scientific panel says that the ozone layer. will recover to 1980 values by 2066 over antarctica and by 2045 over arctic now ozone with the chemical formula o3 is a pale blue gas it has a distinctively pungent smell ozone's odor is reminiscent of chlorine ozone is formed from o2 dioxygen by the action of ultraviolet light and electrical discharges within the earth's atmosphere about ozone layer the ozone layer is mainly found in the lower portion of the stratosphere from approximately 15 to 35 kilometers above earth it contains a high concentration of ozone ozone in relation to other parts of the atmosphere significance of ozone layer it is critical for planetary life since it absorbs ultraviolet rays coming from the sun ultraviolet rays are known to cause skin cancer and many other diseases and deformities in plants and animals let us discuss about the depletion of ozone layer In the 1980s, scientists began to notice a sharp drop in the concentration of ozone. Scientists observed that the atmospheric ozone concentrations is declining below 220 Dobson units (DU), that is a measure of the total amount of ozone in a vertical column of air above the Earth's surface. This drop was much more pronounced over the South Pole, which was later linked to the unique meteorological conditions like temperature, pressure. pressure wind speed and direction that prevails over antarctica also the ozone hole over antarctica is the biggest during the months of september october and november now for the reasons of ozone depletion the chief or the main cause of ozone depletion was the use of a class of industrial chemicals that contain chlorine bromine and fluorine these chemicals are referred to as ozone depleting substances odes the most common of these were the chlorofluorocarbons or the cfcs that were used extensively in the air conditioning refrigeration paints and furniture industries talking about the recent recovery the ozone hole has been steadily improving since 2000 the latest scientific assessment has said that if current policies continued to be implemented the ozone layer was expected to recover to 1980 values by 2066 over antarctica by 2045 over the arctic and by 2040 for the rest of the world Let's see the reasons for recovery according to Montreal Protocol. The recovery of the ozone layer has been made possible by the effective implementation of the Montreal Protocol, an international treaty designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of ozone depleting substances (ODS), mainly chlorofluorocarbons. It was agreed in 1987 and entered into force in 1989. The recent assessment has reported that nearly 99% of the substances banned by the Montreal Protocol have now been eliminated from use, resulting in a slow but definite recovery of the ozone layer. About World Ozone Day, the International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer is observed annually on September 16th to commemorate the date of the signing of the Montreal Protocol in 1987. The day was proclaimed by the UN General Assembly in 1994. Also the theme for 2022 was Montreal Protocol at the rate 35 global cooperation protecting life on earth talking about Kigali amendment the Kigali amendment to the Montreal Protocol came into force in 2019 the amendment seeks to eliminate 80 to 90% of the hydrofluorocarbons hfcs currently in use by the year 2050 This is expected to prevent another 0.3 to 0.5 degrees Celsius of global warming by the turn of the century. Further, the hydrofluorocarbons that have replaced the CFCs in the industrial use pose no harm to the ozone layer. They are, however, greenhouse gases with a high global warming potential comparable to that of the CFCs. And that was little bit about the ozone layer. 
Let's take a practice question from the topic. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. The ozone layer is mainly found in the lower portion of the thermosphere, a layer of atmosphere. Statement 2. The Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol seeks to eliminate 80 to 90 percent of the hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs, currently in use by the year 2050. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now, the correct answer is B, that is, only statement 2 is correct. Statement 1 is incorrect as the ozone layer is mainly found in the lower portion of stratosphere and not thermosphere. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos, stay tuned to the next IS YouTube channel.